IET NCERT presents audiobook Introductory Microeconomics Page 62 4 Monopoly Module 4.1 Monopoly Market Rationale Monopoly market is also a benchmark for the firms as it is the other extreme of market structure the features of a monopoly market are opposite that of a perfectly competitive market we will understand why a monopoly firm charges different prices to different consumers key concepts monopoly demand curve under monopoly tr ar and mr curves under monopoly 4.1.1 Monopoly Market It is the market where there is only a single seller of a good but there are many buyers the goods do not have any close substitutes a monopoly firm is the price setter in the industry since there is a single seller in the market there is a complete restriction on the entry of new firms in the market monopoly can arise due to many reasons like government regulations franchisee patents copyrights and trademarks etc some examples of monopoly are delhi jal board and indian railways which are completely under government control that is under the monopoly of the government 4.1.2 demand curve of a monopoly firm monopoly firm is the sole producer in its market so its demand curve is the market's demand curve the shape of its demand curve is downward sloping because a monopolist can sell more goods at a lower price and fewer goods at a higher price thus its demand curve puts a limit on the amount of profit that a monopolist could earn from its market power table 4.1 total average and marginal revenue of a monopoly firm here we have a table with 10 rows and 5 columns the first column represents price per unit in rupees the second column represents quantity in units the third column represents tr in rupees the fourth column represents ar in rupees the fifth column represents mr in rupees now when the price is 9 and quantity is 0 tr will be 0 ar will be not defined mr will also be not defined when price per unit is rupees 8 and quantity is 1 tr is 8 ar is 8 and mr is 8 when price per unit is 7 and quantity is 2 then tr is 14 ar is 7 and mr is 6 when price per unit is 6 and quantity is 3 then tr is 18 ar is 6 and mr is 4 when price per unit is 5 and quantity is 4 then tr is 20 AR is 5 and MR is 2 when price per unit is 4 and quantity is 5 then TR is 20 AR is 4 and MR is 0 when price per unit is 3 and quantity is 6 TR is 18 AR is 3 and MR is minus 2 when price per unit is 2 and quantity is 7 tr is 14 ar is 2 and mr is minus 4 when price per unit is 1 and quantity is 8 tr is 8 ar is 1 and mr is minus 6 lastly when price per unit is 0 and quantity is 9 TR is zero, AR is zero, and MR is minus eight.
in table 4.1 when the price of a good is rupees 9 then zero units of good is demanded this is because of the fact that buyers find the commodity to be quite expensive when the price falls from rupees 9 to rupees 8 then the demand rises to 1 unit when price falls from rupees 8 to 7 then the demand rises to 2 units page 63 likewise we can observe the pattern of price and demand from column 1 and column 2 respectively in figure 4.1 the values of price and demand are plotted thereby depicting an inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded figure 4.1 demand curve of a monopoly firm here we have a graph with two axes the x axis represents quantity the y axis represents price both the axes have been divided into 10 equal parts There is a downward sloping line here originating from the point 9 on the y axis and ending at the point 9 on the x axis. 4.1.3 Total revenue of a monopoly firm. Remember that the total revenue is calculated by multiplying the price per unit of commodity with the units of goods sold at that price. Column 3 of table 4.1 gives you the total amount of revenue received by a monopolist if we plot the values of the total revenue curve against the quantities as done in figure 4.2 then we get an inverted u curve it indicates that as the price of commodity is reduced the total revenue increases initially and then it reaches maximum on the fifth unit of output indicated in column 2 after which it starts falling with a further fall in the price figure 4.2 total revenue curve of a monopoly firm we have before us a graph with two axes the x axis representing quantity has been divided into 10 equal parts the y axis representing total revenue has been divided into 10 parts with a distance of 2 each The inverted U curve originates at 0 0 which is the origin and ends at 9 0 on the x axis page 64 4.1.4 average revenue of a monopoly firm the average revenue is calculated by dividing the total revenue with the number of units sold column 4 of table 4.1 shows the average revenue of a monopolist firm which is also its demand curve in figure 4.3 the average revenue curve is plotted against the quantity it depicts a negative relationship between ar and the output sold the average revenue indicates the price as it also did in the case of perfect competition figure 4.3 average revenue curve of a monopoly firm here we have a graph with two axes the x axis represents quantity the y axis represents average revenue both the axes have been divided into 10 equal parts there is a downward sloping line here which ends at the point 9 on the x axis this line represents ar is equal to price 4.1.5 marginal revenue of a monopoly firm marginal revenue means how much the total revenue increases when an additional unit of good is sold it is calculated as change in total revenue due to change in the quantity sold column 5 of table 4.1 gives the calculation of marginal revenue as depicted in figure 4.4 the mr curve is downward sloping it is falling and it reaches zero and after that it becomes negative in order to increase the sale of the commodity a monopolist must reduce the price that it charges for every subsequent unit it sells this cut in price reduces revenue on the unit it was selling therefore mr curve is downward sloping 
page 65. Figure 4.4, marginal revenue curve of a monopoly firm. We have before us a graph with two axes. The y-axis represents quantity. Points 0 to 10 are plotted on it. The y-axis representing marginal revenue has points minus 8 to 10 plotted on it. The distance between two points is 2. There is a downward sloping curve which represents MR and this intersects the x-axis at the point 5, 0. 4.1.6 Relationship between AR and MR curves in a monopoly market. It is important to highlight the point that AR curve always remains above MR curve because a monopoly firm faces a downward sloping demand curve. Take the values of AR and MR from the table 4.1 and plot them against the quantities sold as done in figure 4.5. The MR curve drawn below the AR curve implies that the rate of fall of MR curve is greater than the rate of fall in the AR curve. Figure 4.5 Relationship between AR and MR curves Here we have a graph with two axes. The x-axis represents quantity. The y-axis represents MR or AR. The x-axis has been divided into 10 equal parts. The y-axis has been divided into 9 parts from minus 8 to plus 10. All these points are at a distance of 2 from each other. There is a downward sloping curve here. This is the MR curve and it intersects the x-axis at the point 5. There is another downward sloping curve here. This is the AR curve and it is above the MR curve. The AR curve originates from the same point where the MR curve originates. The AR curve ends at the point 9 on the x-axis. 4.1.7 Relationship between AR, MR and TR curves in a monopoly market. It is also interesting to know the relationship between the AR, MR and TR in a monopoly market. In figure 4.6, we have plotted the values of average revenue, marginal revenue and total revenue together against the output sold. Page 66 we have found that the demand curve, that is the average revenue curve, lies above the marginal revenue curve. The total revenue is maximized when the marginal revenue becomes zero at an output of five units. Thereafter, TR begins to fall and MR becomes negative. This can also be verified from table 4.1. Figure 4.6 Relationship between AR, MR and TR curves in a monopoly market. We have before us a graph which has the X and Y axis. The X axis represents quantity which is represented by equidistant points 0 to 10. The Y axis is plotted from minus 16 till positive 20. The distance between two units on the line is 4. Please note that the curves that are depicted in this graph have varying thickness. TR is represented via a dotted line and is in the form of an inverted U-curve. It originates at points 0, 0 and ends on the x-axis at 9, 0. AR is the thickest line in the graph and it ends on the x-axis at 9, 0. The MR curve originates at the same point as the AR curve and touches the TR dotted line, it intersects the x-axis at 5, 0. Test your understanding. 1. Give an example of monopoly in real life situation and justify your answer. 2. Fill in the blanks in the table given here. Here we have a table 
with five rows and five columns. The first column represents price per unit. The second column represents quantity. The third column represents TR. The fourth column represents AR. The fifth column represents MR. Now, when the price per unit is 5 and quantity is 6, you have to fill in the other values. When the price per unit is 4 and quantity is 7, you have to fill in the other values. When the price per unit is 3 and quantity is 8, you have to fill in the other values. When the price per unit is 2 and quantity is 9, you have to fill in the other values. Lastly, when the price per unit is 1 and quantity is 10, you have to fill in the other values. You were just listening to this chapter. Subject Coordinator Dr. Jaya Singh Production Assistant Jagbandhu Jana Sound Recordist Batilang Lindo and Vikas Sangwan Artists Anandana Kapoor and Akash Ahuja Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India <laughs>